Hi neighbors, welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. My name is Jerry Ellen and welcome to my home. Welcome to my kitchen. I appreciate you being here. I hope that you come back often and uh, ring the notification bell to all so that you get notified when I upload a video. Today, I am making a breakfast and it was delicious. We really liked it. Uh, we'll definitely make it again. I would like to do the bacon more crispier because I like a crispier bacon, but I definitely am going to do this again. So anyway, let's get into the video. So I have a pack of bacon and the pack of bacon actually isn't one pound. It's 375 grams. So it's a bit less than one pound. I just want to put it in my loaf pan with say about half of it or so hanging over and the other half of it uh, draped into the pan so that it's getting the sides and the bottom of the pan. And I'm just going to basket weave the piece uh, into the other uh, bacon that I have draped over. So it'll take about a, a dozen strips of bacon to do this. And you can also use, uh, I'm using a loaf pan, but if you have like a round deep dish pie uh, pan, you can use that. That that looks nice. And then you can cut uh, like pie, wet, pie pieces at the end. And this pack of bacon uh, only had 10 strips of bacon and it ended up being fine. I've sliced up some potatoes here that I have, that I washed and have uh, sitting in some water. Um, I'm guessing the amount, because my potatoes were smaller, if uh, you use three to four large baking potatoes, and I'm going to put a layer of uh, the potatoes in, and then I'm going to salt and pepper it, and I'm going to add some grated cheese. It's probably about one third of a cup of grated cheese there that I added to those potatoes and add another layer of potatoes and I'm going to repeat this process until uh, I have three layers of potatoes. So I'm using like three quarters of a cup to one cup of grated, I'm using marble cheese so it's like a mix of uh, white and orange cheddar medium. Uh, so you can use whatever cheese you want, though. You can use mozzarella, you can use Kobe Jack, use whatever cheese you feel like. You could use cheese slices. You do you, and uh, yeah. And then as soon as I have all my layers done and my cheese on top, I'm going to wrap it up all nice and cozy. And I'm going to basket weave the top of this, too. It just makes it look good, and it holds it together nice, too, I find. So it's kind of like uh, needed especially since I don't have a bunch of bacon. I really want it to stay together. So just wrap her up good and make it all nice and tight like if you can, like tuck in the sides and that when you're done uh, doing the basket weave on top. And I need to ask how you're all doing because it wouldn't be very kind of me to invite you into my home and you come in and visit and me not even ask how you're doing. So I hope that you're all doing very well. Now, sometimes I wrap my meatloaf up with uh, bacon like this. So I thought I'll do it to some potatoes. I know the potatoes are going to be a lot more loose than a packed meatloaf, but it's still going to be good. And I touched that cheese, I'm telling you, with my hands, raw bacon. So I need to cook that cheese with the, the leftover potatoes. I'm just going to put them in another dish. <clears throat> what I decided to do was just uh, put it in with some milk and cheese and salt and pepper with the leftover potatoes, just so that no one ended up using that cheese that I touched my hands with, with raw bacon. Popping it into a preheated oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. And look at it cooking up in there. So good. And the house smells so good. When you cook bacon for breakfast, the whole uh, house just, I, I think it just smells cozy myself. And an hour and 20 minutes to an, uh, uh, I would say an hour and 15, an hour and 20, even longer until your bacon is the, is crisped up and your potatoes are tender. I cut my potatoes nice and thin 
but check to see if your potatoes are tender. And I actually would have went a bit longer, I think. My potatoes were tender and everything, bacon's cooked, but I like it to be a bit more crispy. But uh, we were heading out soon, so we're not having crispy, crispy bacon today. We're having scrambled eggs, some toast, and the bacon potato cheese uh, loaf. You hear Graham with the power tools in the basement? Yeah, so that's the why I'm doing the voiceover. And we have to head to the hardware store, get some more stuff. Okay, and now to get this served up, I just slide my spatula under and uh, glide it onto a plate and then make some slices so that I can serve it up. And I thank you for your support. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope that you do subscribe and ring the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. And comment down below. Comments, likes, shares, and all that helps my channel. And also, most of all, I like to hear from you. I like the company. It's why I'm here. Uh, it's just a wonderful place that has blessed me. And I know that my channel is slow growing. And it's probably not going to end up being a huge channel. But I'm okay with that because I just love you guys. And I thank you all for being here. This is such a quick video. I wonder if it would be good for me to add a, a second sometimes to these short videos like a second breakfast or a second dinner because some of the videos are short sometimes i like to throw up a shorter video for you all because that way you have something to choose from if you don't really want to watch a longer video but this one is pretty short anyway there's there's a plate that's my hubby's plate he's going to want peanut butter and lots of it on his toast so i don't put it on for him he does that and uh yeah come back again love you all take care bye